Nexus allows Jonah B to get on top and an opening kill. Sire player <laughs> lined up two at the same time and everybody's getting dropped for T1. Looking to be a flawless for the guard at least for now. Spike is present. <laughs> and, then they, and then they just try to rotate back, but in the meantime, Char <laughs> just walked up in shower for free, so they just split into the site and they just won all the duel. I mean, sure, that was a really silly. The guard are just content taking their time, taking the space of Huka and Long. We get the util down. Oh my god, that, wow, Flypo just. Pick Saya out of the air, but the trades come in for the guard, and they found that first entry um, coming out of Huka as well. So yeah, there's like a poison orb. There is a toxic wall, a toxic screen that comes out towards big battle towards showers to start things off. Plan is gonna go down. That's Trent building up the alt points for the Hunter's Fury at the same time. Recon Dart on the opposite, and that allows for the spray and the kill onto Net. So that's huge because that's a poison cloud that's lost on the Pulse Plan defense. Everybody's swarming out from truck side though for T1 that allows for a Saya player to get killed by Curry, and they're just holding every single angle. They're all peeking one by one for uh, for Jonah and the Red. Hunter's Fury not connecting. Full X coming in, pull for back sight, smoke for back main. But nothing for elbow, and that's where Steel's able to find a pretty free kill. Still trying to hold here towards Hookah. Rifle well, gave it up early, but at least they're trying to play this retake. Yes, low HP is going to be both Vipers on both ends, and that's Rifle to fall on defense. Showstopper to come out and steal the stuff. So a very hard task in the hands of Steel on this three versus one. Spike planet safely inside this B site as they have all the angles covered. Soon to be a double swing trade out on the back of the site. Valen gets picked off. And here comes the walkout very soon from Tinside. And that's Saya player. Just trying to hold it down. Clear it out towards Long B. Okay. So at least for Steel, potentially the last players are going to be towards the bid site. And potentially towards Hookah or Spawn side. And Steel is doing a great job isolating these 1v1s to start. But now he gets wall banged finally as he peeks up on the top of the... Creeping up slowly. Oh. They're just gonna dry peek this. They do! He gets the kill and TPs away. That's so nice from Steel. And the that thing is that's so, so nice. And the thing that's good is that as he teleports away, they think that the B site's weak. But they had the rotation coming out from Curry too. So there's still a two man stack. He's playing towards that B site. What a gravity well to pull out his opponent, but he still doesn't win that 1v1 against Net. Twyfle's still alive though, inside the Viper's Pit. Spike is now planted. He's just trying to stay alive here for his teammates to rotate as he takes control of Octagon. You can't retreat on that area, and it pays off. He gets the headshot onto Saya players. He jumps inside the Viper's Pit. Valen's on his own. It's a 3v1, and make that a 2v none in the end as that. Okay, he's, yeah, he's got the spike. It looked like he was trying to make a little play through U-Haul, but just waiting until that Ashley wall goes down so he can try and get the site uh, to the site for the plant. Have to deal with shower though. This is so awkward. T1 had full control of shower. They still have a player back sight. I wonder if the guard players might just try and fall off. Maybe take the TP if they can. Wait for the Viper wall to go up and and work back. No, they're gonna try and slow so it down. Maybe reclear shower. Steel. They've got options. Steel just did the Bogdan's law with that actually featured Steel on the Bogdan's law. And he just traded that out with seven. So he's coming out with the operator into the site. Yeah, it was left. a slow play, but they was al allowing for Valen to try to go for a late lurk, and it doesn't pay off. Seven. Spider senses to get the kill, and now we're trying to close it into the round. 3v2, 20 seconds left on the clock, and what a hold in the end by back to try to take control of uh, Hookah. Yeah, this is something new for T1 having seven on the aggressive angle. <laughs> yep. Didn't really work, and that's gonna trigger the sight hit. Curry, at least able to, to trade for one after getting the Seekers off. And they're gonna commit the Astro Wall to try and wipe wow. him as well. And the TP timing with Wifo is perfect. Trailblazer to get information. This spray coming out from the Hookah, but he didn't really spot much. Both of them on elbow will not get too much information of where the guard are splitting up. With 13 seconds left on the clock, it's gonna be a spike plan and the lineup! The timing to come in! Oh, Jonah P with the two! Get the perfect diamond fight too. That is crazy, man. Uh, around them, they have the Viper's Pit down. The Viper's Pit is just so powerful. How can T1 retake this? I mean, they could, but it's gonna be tough. And that's the beauty of EU playing with a brimstone, right? With the with the judge smokes into hookah that can really delay and keep themselves in there despite having a KO. But that said, here comes the retake. Speaking of judge, that's seven with one onto Valen, but we're still holding inside that site. 
Two more remaining here for T1 on that retake. Nice recon dart. That's going to spot one, one towards Shed, forcing Saya player out of position, but in a position where, yeah, there's utility as they heard the Alzone just trying to see if they can hit Trent. And a beautiful Trailblazer. And you have the Showstopper in the front. He eats a flash. Saya player does not get a kill onto that. And we're still trying to battle off towards Showers. The idea was so great there for T1, but it's still the guard that overpowers that defense with the amount of utility that came back in return and firepower with the sprays from the rifles that came out from the attacker side did not allow T1 to get anything done. A flawless round to a shower's pinch, uh, right? Uh, uh, into the uh, teleportation coming out from the recon guard and Aladrol from Steel and then use a showstopper on defense but getting a kill with the Hunter's Fury. So that's huge. And now Seven still doesn't want to give up and he gets stopped oh, by the zero point. And now he's stuck in the corner, can't get away. And Jonah P is just laughing. Extra bullets there on that body right after. Steel trying to retaliate with his own Hunter's Fury, but it doesn't amass to any kills as of yet. And Saya players is jumping through inside that smoke, dodging the Hunter's Fury and gets a triple on top of that. An aggressive push this time from the attacker side off the null command to spray through elbow and they're just having a hard time holding elbow when there's a lot of pressure coming in on the attacker side for T1. So an early 5v4 retake attempt for T1 to at least hopefully make it an 8-4. But we are in great pulse plant positions here. They still have pain shells from seven, though. He could try to clear out towards uh, this B cubby, but it just has his specter for now. He doesn't really want to use that utility yet. They're trying to get information off the initiator's utility first. And there, finally, the pain shells right onto Trent. He's forced to push inside the uh, poison cloud and runs back out. Big flashes come out from the defender's side. But it's still going to be I'm just gathering up towards a short. They're just trying to walk in through the smoke. Sire trying to find a good little timing for the nade, and he does that in combination with Trent swing from shower. But T1, the players are just flooding through U-Haul. The aggression from Seven on the Trent, but he is crispy and he drops the, the golden dabbing penguin on him mid round. <laughs> the disrespect. Oh my god, he is crisp right now. Oh, I denied the ace. And my casting with esports dug. <laughs> and now Curry would have to just pull off a miracle 1v2 again. Version if he can, but everybody else is working towards his A site. So Twifo has to come up huge. The swoop peak, but Valen still gets the frag. He's lining up the second one, trying to go for the third. There's only six seconds left, so they have to run in for the spike plant. And it's Jonah P from Showers to line up in the front, and that's it. Trent just continues to drive by with the Spectre, and he's got... Hold on. Actually, worked on Curry? No worries. Ooh. That's my flash in work. Yeah, T1... Pretty spread out right now, just waiting for that Viper util to come back, waiting for Thwaipo to get the charge so they could actually start working up short. saya has got his eyes on it. They drop the wall and swing. Oh, that's a nice little uh, wall drop swoop peak moment. But Valen just locks down the site with respect there. Little bit of gun diff, ready for the swing from shower. Just good awareness of the situation. Should lock it up unless steel. I mean, I don't even think it's legitimately no way and almost gets damaged by a shotgun and here comes an early oh my god he's actually gonna get this kill Curry's gonna it is pretty damn nasty man silly smoke drops still's gonna win that duel though for it to be as well size moves his way over here um with all the noise coming from long there they are recon gonna get the info on Valen. Oh my god, there's, there's so much utility trying to clear him. Coming in as well, and he's gonna go down because, yeah, the vulnerable comes in from the, uh, the molly. Left. And then the nades do the, the majority of the damage for that free little kill. Nice little on-the-fly util combo from T1. Taking their time, just working up Octagon. No Our players staying patient too. Nice wall bang from Twifo wow. though, and then you have Jonah P in the back of the site. Ten seconds left on the clock, and finally from above, it's going to be Pony that's going to drop him. So a little bit, uh, you're breathing a little bit now for T1. You're able to get this plant and nets on that rotation from spawn side. This 3v1 set up, one towards the cubby, one back site, and then a star onto the ground. Seekers get popped, and T1 going to go into the A hit. A nice swing from Twifo, finds the entry. Same wall up from him. Flash is coming through. Flash through for U-Haul so he can push into there. T1 doing a nice job just ooh, scaling down short, using the flashes, taking space. They gotta get the plant down though. Ten seconds and Trent showers. So low. Uh, five seconds. We're trying to go for this plant. No, oh, it was so close to getting the kill. It still gets the lurk in two showers and two the fall. They cannot get the kill for the guard with the sprays through the Viper's pit. And that's only Jonah P. Now on his own in a 4v1, and that's going to be it. That was so <laughs> yeah. close. You saw the that spray. That was very close. We were.
Yeah, listen, get get one while you can, you know, when make sure you win the round, make sure the rocket hits. If it misses, it's embarrassing and everyone's going to laugh at you and all that. Uh, you minus know? eight, so, uh, Rosa. Yeah, everyone's going to type minus eight. And yeah, so, you know, it's in his best interest to get a kill while he can, to be honest. A little bit of info. They're going to TP oh, back and go into the A split. I know, yeah, it's another site here where the time is just so low. Finally, the Hunter's Fury is waiting on that. Ooh, and he finds a kill on the Trent, but... They have to deal with Saya back sight. Oh, he pops the ult. Oh, that's a lovely rocket. And that'll close it out. That's the game. Maybe that, perhaps in the last one, the lack of time.